welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win, but you find a way to lose. Ryan Garcia about to get his cherry popped. It's exactly what's about to happen. He doesn't realize what they're doing with him, man. Let me under, let me let me let y'all know something. It was just what was it last year? Where Floyd Mayweather was talking about Ryan's not a real fighter. Ryan's a YouTuber. So once once Tank hits that boy, he's gonna be out cold. He's gonna get hurt. Now now all of a sudden Ryan Garcia is there with Floyd. Talking about how Floyd is such a genuine person and you don't know Floyd. No, leave Floyd alone. Leave him alone. Because Floyd makes smart investments. <laughs> now, come on now. Ryan Garcia can fight. We all know that. But this is basically... Something's going on here. Something's fishy. I don't suspect the secret society to be interfering with Ryan Garcia. I think this is just Ryan Garcia being vulnerable um, and getting himself into an entanglement that he shouldn't have. But nonetheless, let me tell you something. If you for one second think how Rolly Romero grew up in the Mayweather gym, right? You think for one second that they're trying to set it up to have Ryan Garcia come in, beat Rolly, and then take Rolly Romero's place and then have Rolly Romero kind of cast away like Tom Hanks. That's not good. That's not going to happen. Rolly Romero is part of the Mayweather family. Now, what they what they what they could be doing, which I think, is they just recognize, hey, we got an opportunity to bring a superstar over here to PBC, uh, and there are a lot of fights that we can make with them, and there's a lot of money that can be made. Now, I'm going to tell you, tell you this. Floyd spent a lot of time with Ryan Garcia, and they had a conversation. And my understanding is Floyd said a few things to him. Like, uh, sometimes people say certain things about me that are negative. But you know what, Ryan? That's no problem. I try to, I try to take their negative and turn it into a positive. That, that's, why, that's why me, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, Right, I, I like to I like to surround myself with positive people. You know, it's it, it just like in boxing. It's just like in boxing, right? They told they they said they said in boxing. Then boxing. They said in boxing. They told me they said in boxing. They told that you know in boxing. They said that I'm a boxer who runs. That I'm afraid. But 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 I'll, I'll say this. I'm a boxer who believes that the object of the sport is to get hit and not get hit. Just, just being smart, taking my time, keeping my composure. You know, just, just trying to be the, going out there and being the best that I can be. And Ryan Garcia seems to have bought into that. Because some people have said the same thing about Ryan Garcia. Especially in his last performance against Duarte, before he tranquilized Duarte. Ryan Garcia looked to me to be a guy who did not want to get hit. And he looked at, like he was fighting within himself on, do I quit or do I push through this? Because when you turn your back to an opponent, that's a bad, bad sign. But Mayweather told him, I am sure he told him, any true champion can bounce back. That's what being a champion is, being able to deal with adversity and being able to bounce back. You know, a minor setback for a major comeback. And, 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 and people say things about me, Ryan, but, but I'm going to tell you, you know, I, I talk a lot of trash and I'm the best at talking trash. That's not really your quality, but I was the best at going out there and backing it up. You know, I backed it up every time. 50 opponents, 50 wins. Now, when you look at Ryan Garcia, I think we're going to find out what Ryan Garcia is really about. Because I think Mayweather and PBC and everyone around Ryan Garcia is really expect for him at any fight he gets into that's a pay-per-view attraction that he may do a million pay-per-view buys. 
I'm going to tell you Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, I think they complemented each other, and that's why they were able to do the numbers they did. However, I do, I do believe Ryan Garcia has the type of following that if he, if he markets himself well, he can easily do 500,000 pay-per-view buys every time he fights. Remember, he has a certain demographic uh, that, that follows him, and they will spend their money to watch him fight. But I think Ryan Garcia has to do a better job of promoting himself. But I do think if he aligns himself with Mayweather, um, I, I do think Ryan Garcia's profile will, 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 will grow exponentially. I, I really do. And you may say, well, why is that? Well, just look at Floyd Mayweather, um, look at Tank Davis, and look at PBC. And, and obviously, for a guy like Al Heyman and Sam Watson, and even Mayweather, who really don't say much, all their fighters get paid good, all their fighters are, uh, have huge profiles, and all their fighters are well-known. Uh, you know, it looks like it looks like over there at Golden Boy, they got to work feverishly just to get us to, to to learn about some of the fighters they have over there. They, you know, Golden Boy has so many, they have fighters that I didn't even know that, that were signed to Golden Boy. That's crazy. But I, I think Ryan Garcia could end up, because Floyd put the gift of gab on him, he could end up going there and getting his cherry popped and being disappointed that, you know, hey, they really didn't love me. They really don't care about me. They just said what they had to say to get what they wanted. Because Floyd Mayweather said, ain't no boundaries, ain't no limits. I had my mind on bigger and better things. And Ryan Garcia is a bigger and better thing than just some 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 uh, promising prospect that's you know six six fights five KOs undefeated. Ryan Garcia's established, simple, and and and, <clears throat> and and I think I think they're um, they're paying attention to that. But it's crazy. It is crazy, man. Um, so what does Ryan Garcia do? You know. I, I, I don't know, but I, I just think this this right here is in that those zygotic stages to where once it really starts to grow and you see the direction Ryan Garcia wants to go with Mayweather, with PBC, and De La Hoya not wanting to let him go, I think this is going to get ugly. I think there's going to be lawsuits. Um, although they're very uh, smart people behind the scenes, um, I, I just think it's already at a point to where, you know, De La Hoya, if he wanted, he could really start poking and, and making people uncomfortable because Floyd's already went out here and courted Ryan Garcia and has got him hook, line, and sinker. That's why Ryan Garcia now, you know, we're making an assumption about what I'm about to say, but, I mean, the goddamn blind man can see <clears throat> that Ryan Garcia went, spent time with Mayweather. I'm sure Mayweather started talking the A-side bullshit. I am the A-side. You are the A-side and blah, blah, blah that Ryan Garcia decided to change his tune and not come back trying to fight Devin, Devin Haney for no 50-50 split. Because really, when you look at it, if it's true that Devin Haney and Regis Progray did 30,000 pay-per-view buys, <clears throat> i tell you what, if I was to come out here, I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even trying to be funny now. I wonder if you or, or myself, people who but just say aren't known if we were to have a pay-per-view event announced that showed, you know, boxing pay-per-view event, I am sure that there will be some people who are curious, who don't know us at all, but will buy the pay-per-view event just because it's boxing and they like boxing. And I'm sure we can hit 30,000. And I'm not even being funny. Once you start getting to, you know, 70, 80, 100,000, you know, then obviously people have to kind of know who you are. But I think people, there are some people who like boxing so much that they'll just buy a random boxing event. So, so, so when we look at it like that, I think Floyd Mayweather, if in fact he was there, you know, advising Ryan Garcia, he's right. You know, you the A side, man. You the, you the money guy. Why are you, you coming out here? You know you're doing probably at, at least. I would say 300,000, but I'm thinking Ryan Garcia can hit 500,000, no problem. 
and you coming out here giving 50, 50 split to a man who can't even do 30,000. So when you look at it like that, can't help but understand uh, why Ryan Garcia is not going to just sit here and allow anything to be dictated to him. Because in boxing, the titles, they do matter, but then they kind of don't, depending on your profile and your status. So it is to, it is what it is. But you know, Floyd Mayweather, Mr. I, I made smart investments. He believes that with Ryan Garcia, like himself, people are going to pay to see him win. Some are going to pay to see him lose, but they're going to pay. And, and, and that's why Floyd Mayweather, I believe, uh, was given the marching orders by Al Heyman. Now, this is just my opinion now, to go out here and try to lock down Ryan Garcia. But remember, even Al Heyman, he's been making little deposits uh, when, in, in the Ryan Garcia bank for years, too, calling him before he goes into fights and saying good luck and stuff like that. It's a business, man. These guys, are, these guys are brilliant. They know what they're doing. But um, that being said, I don't believe that they're looking to have Ryan Garcia knock off Rolly Romero just so Ryan Garcia can be the next big guy. Nah, I think they want want him over there to make a big fight. They both get paid, and then they, for Rolly to continue doing his thing. But that way they have Ryan Garcia for big fights. And, you know, it's it's a win-win for, for Mayweather, for PBC. It's a win-win for Ryan Garcia, too. And it's a win-win for Rolly Romero. But, but, but the question is, who really cares about Ryan Garcia? Outside of Ryan Garcia, who really cares about Ryan Garcia? And... And we, I could make jokes about Mayweather and all his funny sayings and all that, but who really cares about Ryan Garcia? He just wants somebody to, and like it's, it's kind of sad, man. He wants somebody to love him. That's why he's going to come out here. I'm sure Mayweather probably bought him something, gave him something, and just looking to pop that cherry. Because Ryan Garcia wants to be loved by somebody. Taylor Hoy and B-Hop sure as hell don't give a shit about them. Mayweather and those guys, I don't believe they truly care about that dude. And Ryan Garcia is just out here in the breeze, about to get used up. Anyway, man, I'm about to go exercise. Y'all keep cool. Kind of sad story. I wonder why God, well, you know, I was about to say, I wonder why y'all uh, What's his name? The guy there in Dallas, Texas. Derek James. Looking like Blank Man, right? I wonder why Derek James... If, if if What kind of relationship does he have with Ryan Garcia, man? If he can pull him aside and talk to him and maybe say, hey, be careful what you're doing. Or, but maybe Ryan Garcia is hard-headed. You know, we've heard over the years that he doesn't listen to nobody. So maybe Ryan Garcia... Is doing what he wants and doesn't really want to listen to what anybody has to say. Maybe, maybe that's what we're seeing here. Maybe he's been advised not to go around Mayweather, not to go over there and do those things. Just go and, you know, sort things out with Golden Boy. I don't know. But I just, I, I don't see this ending well at all. But anyway, we'll see what's up. I still think Ryan and Rowley is a good fight. A lot of people want to see <clears throat> Rolly Romero will sell the fight. And there's so much sparring footage of those guys where Rolly Romero was out there giving Ryan Garcia the business that I think all that sparring footage is going to be used to help build the fight. So we'll see if it happens. If it doesn't, then you know it is what it is. But uh, Ryan Garcia's about to get that cherry popped. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.